Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play with Asper Witch. Let's get this Timmy Joe on the road. Uh, we are killing them. Post haste. Let's actually let's take care of uh, Karaki first, and let's uh, get a few mercenaries up uh, up on the Mamlux as well. Uh, let's see. Can't really afford that now, can we? Uh, so let's uh, let's let Syria handle them uh, if they. They might. We'll see. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah. There we go. Leave behind siege. Actually, let's let's to make sure that we don't leave too much. Uh, it's a two. Fort level two, so let's leave two troops instead of four. Can't really trust the detach siege button. Uh, it detaches a lot uh, more than it's uh, than it actually needs. So they are going into Kuzestan. Go ahead, I don't care. Uh, hmm. Yeah, okay, that was our uh, fabrication, I think. No, that was our actual declaration of war. Khuzestan, July 25. There we go. They are going into Iraq Yarab. Uh, you know what? Let's just step on them. Uh, we are four techs ahead of them. They do have one three liter. I have a one four liter. Uh, so I've got that. But we have... definite river crossing there. Well, I think we'll be fine. We'll have uh, probably have Syria there as well. Uh, as it seemed, my 12 troops were uh, almost enough to take care of them. So yeah, that wasn't, that was never going to be a problem. Uh, let's chase those guys down, uh, actually. And Let's uh, let's leave behind the siege there and take care of their their other army. Uh, this is yeah, fort level two. So I guess Syria isn't taking care of the Mamluks. Uh, well, I'll let the Mamluks have the fun down there. Uh, not gonna be a huge problem. Uh, so you're going to Yazd instead. October nine. Yeah, we are going to be fast enough. Kerman, Sistan, I'm guessing. So we are getting territory, I guess, here. Uh, terrain penalty. Desert Mountain. Well, we're fine. Uh, they are going... Yeah, Sistan, I was right. Uh, let's see. Corazon. I have a feeling they're heading home to their capital. So I'm just gonna just gonna go on that hunch and we'll see so we have a tech we have uh, admin tech uh, yeah I could get it now but I just got my idea group and we are we are three away from getting a new idea group and we're almost well I would be that wouldn't be much though would it production efficiency 1.5 ducat a month. Uh, yeah, nah. Let's uh, let's leave that. Uh, we'll conserve our power. We'll actually get it when we have a few more uh, neighbor rebates. Oh, they're going into Herat. So now we'll have to. Let's see. Venice. Where's my troops? There. November six. There we go. Going to Herat. This time you are going into Kandahar. And let's split these guys up as well. Um, got those guys. And you guys are too many to be here. Get yourself to Astabad. There we go. 
So, this will hopefully be a speedy war, uh, seeing as we are severely out attacking them. Uh, and I have a feeling that as soon as we get into India, this is gonna be all their. Uh, it's gonna. Oh, it's all gonna be like this. Uh, getting uh, really fast uh, stack wipes and whatnot. It's not gonna be as interesting as it has been so far. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that means uh, we will be done with this. Uh, Thing soon enough and I can uh, get on with my future uh, projects my new games uh, yeah we went into Hormos apparently well, let's uh, split up we've got uh, that guy there oh, so there we go row into Punjab How's this going? January 14, January 24. So we are going to cut him out. Cut him down. Punjab, they, they are... Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's keep a look at this. Multan. So they're going to Quetta. Can I make them stop? Yeah, I can. They're going into Upper Sint. Hmm. All right. Well, let's let's see about this Re return course. Uh, well, I could be going for the Omani provinces. Uh, no, they're not part of the coalition anymore. Never mind. Uh, so I could be going for this as a Brajan, or could take some Mamluks territory. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I could go do is take Kohistan, so I can release uh, Baluchistan as a vassal as well. I'm probably going to do that, but. First, oh, let's see, Fars and Hormos. I want to return Fars and Hormos. Uh, Kerman? Hormos. There we go. I want to return these two so I get. Uh, uh, so that I can actually release Baluchistan. And then we'll see. We have 71% to work with I can actually return all of it my god my god uh, all right you want to hear me complain about that now uh, playing as Nide and not having the overseas expansion Casas Balai those 50% costs is quite useful. Uh, uh, yeah, what I was uh, what I was gonna say, playing as Nide, uh, fighting the Timurids, I could take two, maybe three provinces each war. Uh, being able to take all of Persia in one war, that's quite nice. Uh, that is actually super nice. Uh, That's unbelievable. Well, almost all of Persia. Still, quite a lot. Of, quite a lot of reforms this game. Uh, no, that was a lie. That was the first. Uh, it's my nine game. Uh, the Austria has uh, got three reforms by the yeah, roughly the same time, fifteen, eighteen, sixteen hundred, something like that. I'm uh, getting confused. Uh, mixing up games. Uh, not good. Need to stay focused on Venice. I was going to record uh, the night game, uh, but I got started uh, early when I didn't have time to, or didn't have the, the possibility to record it. Uh, I started just to get a feel for it, and then uh, it went really well, so I kept doing it. So there was no recording to be done. Well, life is life. Uh, Azerbaijan. Uh, in hindsight, it was probably a good, good thing because I don't think I would have had uh, time to finish the challenge 
had I recorded everything. I don't really like recording when we have guests. I feel like an idiot sitting here talking to myself. Uh, well, I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to my five viewers. Uh, upper Doab. It's quite funny, uh, I've been having a lot of views uh, on my Hansa uh, Respublica clip and it uh, turns out it's uh, almost all from uh, foreign sites. Turns out some guy put my uh, uh, my let's play as a trailer for the, his uh, torrent for Respublica. So I get like 7,000 views from Spain and uh, uh, Eastern Europe. <laughs> it's funny. And then I have like 10 views on my regular clips. Well, I might not be big, but I am big in torrents, apparently. <laughs> it's actually quite enjoyable uh, watching statistics uh, on YouTube. Amusing. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we are getting all of it. We are getting all of Persia. This is uh, this is going fast as well. The sieging. For real. Uh, so that's most of their army. Let's see. They are going into Balkh. Well, they won't be going there. Probably we'll just. Let's split these guys up. Uh, let's split those guys up. Uh, that as well. That. Try to get some kind of speedy carpet going. Uh, not too worried about uh, super efficiency right now. I'm just going nuts over here. I wonder what time this episode is at. I don't think I started my timer as usual. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll wager it's, it's like 10 minutes by now, feels like. Uh, Bountiful Harvest. This year's harvest has been exceptional. Rarely in our nation's history has the earth brought forth so much of its bounty. The populace are already interpreting this as a sign that we are enjoying divine favor. We are indeed blessed getting 268 ducats for nothing. Sweet. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the ideas. We are getting recruitment time ideas. So something is reducing our idea cost by 10%. What's that? Uh, can I see? Can I? Can you please show me? What is that? Is that you? Yeah, that's human ideas. Great. So there we go. Uh, yeah, and uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, take a look at. Oh, look at that! I don't have a I don't have a night trader left. That sucks. Uh, let's get uh, the naval reformer then. I really need that uh, these uh, points. Guess I should be having a level three in military instead of uh, diplo by now, but yeah. I want to get my integration done quickly. Hey, what's this? Sunny salads. I didn't even I didn't even see them coming. Well, uh, this province here is already sunny, so that's gonna, not gonna be a problem, uh, at least not for now. But should they take any more provinces, I have a feeling they might flip. And oh, that's not a good idea. So we lost our guy there. Now we can get a level 3. Or we can get a level 1. That's quite a dilemma. We can't really afford a level 3 now, can we? Uh, however, I want one that's better than level 1. So yeah, what to do? what to actually do. Uh, let's take a look at those annexations. Uh, 
Persia is at 29%. Uh, let's hold off on getting this for a short, short while. Because I have a feeling that as soon as I get Syria... Why did I say Persia? As soon as I get Syria, these provinces will probably not be distant overseas, which will increase their tax income to higher than zero. Uh, so that will increase my income significantly. And hopefully that means uh, I can afford having a level three advisor in all categories. That would be great, actually. There we go. Splitting my troops all over the place. Siege of Farce is over. Uh, let's get into Macron. Uh, there we go. So, should I get my tech? Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I don't really need it now, do I? Mentees should be converted. 92 months. It's taking quite a while now to com convert the provinces. Just these two more that I can take care of. And then we're in dash 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 territory. Local autonomy. Autonomy. Not autonomy. Uh, religious center. And just high base tax. Basic seven and up. Oh well. Kothaya. I could be coring Kothaya. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Uh, let's do that. <laughs> Silly me. Uh, yeah, let's get this tech. Why not? Textile manufacturing. I don't know if, I'll, if I'm gonna need it, but uh, yeah. At least I have it. So shipbuilding time. Yeah, that happened. Uh, some guys broke their alliances. Uh, we won a siege. Let's see how that's going. And yeah, now let's actually. Yeah, it's Kohistan you want, right? That's what we have a claim on, yeah. Oh, and we have a claim on Lower Sindh and Kutch as well. So that's an idea. That's actually maybe not a bad idea at all. We could... Kathiawar and Gujarat has... Well, it's Mewar. Marwar. Kathiawar. Gujarat probably has a few cores over here, uh, but I still think Baluchistan is the better choice uh, Because I also think that getting Baluchistan here doesn't remove the the presence in India Claims I have over here, so that means I could actually go to war with Vaja Vajinagar where Raikot so that's uh, that's a good idea. Let's uh, let's do that. Uh, so we want Koistar. Local revolt risk minus five percent. That's great. Bulk. So yeah. Uh, we lost a claim on Adana. Let's uh, take care of that. Fabricate a claim on Adana. We want that as soon as possible. Uh, winning, claim, uh, winning wars here. Uh, really don't have anything to fabricate a claim on. Uh, yes, Akoyunlu could be integrated uh, pronto. If we increase our relations, so let's do that. We want the Siege of Kiwa. Where are you going, Timmy? Got religious violence in Sivas. So, gain a claim on Emerity. It's Georgia. Uh, well, the option is to lose one's ability, and that's not gonna happen. So, yeah. Hate me, Georgia. Go ahead. Come try some. Siege of Ghazni. There we go. So, hmm, Karaman has offensive. Uh, they are going into Kandahar. 
That's not gonna happen, right? Yeah, it is. So, let's see if I can actually save this guy. We have lost the siege of Fayum. Well, who cares? Just a few Egyptian provinces. No one's gonna miss them. Traders are still in power. Good. I actually, I've actually missed them losing power sometimes, uh, which surprises me because I, well, it's the the usual click, click, click on the dialogues uh, to get them out of the way. Uh, sometimes that's not a good idea. Let's see now. I probably have enough to to end this war now, but I still want. Oh well, I have Kalista. Great. Let's look at our our guys here. Annex, annex, fabricate claim, Nadana, and improve relations. So let's get that guy home. Barakstan. And let's see if we can't end this war immediately. There we go. Let's see. So, all of that. And the Kohi's done for me. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, well, is there anything else I can take? Might as well, seeing as it's uh, dirt cheap. Uh, Make him revoke course, or I could make him release a nation. Well, that would be Jangladesh, I guess. But why? Why would that be a good idea? I don't know. But well, that's the only one I could afford. Uh, guess I could take another territory. Uh, what would that be? Charger? No. Merv? No. Copet Dyke? Well, it would be that. But why? Uh, Karakum, no. Badakshan, no. Don't really want those. Uh, Sistan will be too expensive, so yeah. I guess this is it. All of Persia. And. Uh, Mamluk territory. Well, I need to go down there to occupy them if I wanted it, so gonna happen just, let's just take some money from you uh, so I'm getting all of this territory 4.2 over extension uh, aggressive expansion and 8% over extension uh, having vassals with course is great it's really really good it's gonna cost you a few points of diplo power but it's gonna be worth it in the end uh, it's cheaper than the admin cost of coring it yourself uh, could make them like vassal, but I don't want that. Let's just uh, do it like that. Big, big, big chunk of uh, Timmy there in my pocket, my Persian pocket. And uh, now I can take care of those Sunni salads. But first, uh, let me take a selfie uh, with uh, Baluchistan here. There we. Let's just take a quick look. Let's let's wait until I've integrated something, uh, so as not to go over my. Oh yeah, like that. Uh, so now we can release Baluchistan. There we go. Friend. Uh, let's let's take a look at him. Tech 15, uh, Tribal Federation. All right. <laughs> uh, he has national defensive, offensive trade and diplomatic. Well, he's not gonna be converting this province then. Uh, poor Sod, he's gonna flip to Sunni eventually. No, yeah, sorry for yawning. Uh, so, Still, we are waiting for Syria. Should be done soon, right? 90.6. We are three base tax. That's 45 diplo power that we are waiting for. This guy is apparently going nowhere. That's good. Uh, yeah, he's trying to convert Venice. 
They are 4.1% towards enforcing their demands. Oh my god. I'm uh, literally shaking in my boots. Let's, uh, oh right, that's what I get for speaking too soon, now we're moving, well, let's take a look, uh, if they actually win this, uh, they will pro, yeah, religion is set up changes to Sunni, I don't want that, so let's hope I can get my troops there as soon as possible, uh, let's take a look at this, Whoa, guilds push for mercantilist reforms. Yeah, I've seen this before. Uh, that's the one mercantilism for 50 power swing. Uh, not gonna happen, still. Uh, quite nice having traders in power getting 50 diplo power uh, from time to time. Can't complain about that. And there we go, we've integrated Syria. Now, let's take a look at this. Let's see what happens when the month turns. If that actually changes everything. I'm not sure about this. Uh, I'm just hoping. There we go. And yeah. No, still distant overseas. God damn it. Uh, well, that's uh, apparently not helped by that. So. Then it's uh, all tied to regions, I guess. Uh, well, I wonder what region gives me the most. Probably this one, with all of uh, the Ottoman territories. Still, I wonder what what would happen if my uh, if my uh, capital was closer, if that would change anything, because I mean, I'm in Italian, well, actually I'm in, because this, this place is not the same, well it's Europe I guess, uh, that means something, and this is uh, Asia, god damn it, well I have more territory in Europe I guess. I was hoping this would give me not distant overseas, seeing as it has a land connection. Uh, doesn't really have a land connection to my capital now, does it? So, say I move my capital to somewhere over here. Let's say I moved it to Aleppo for. Uh, for example. That would mean my capital was in Asia, so that wouldn't be distant overseas. But I would also be. I I'll need to read up on that. What actually triggers distance overseas? If it's uh, just the regions, or if it's something else going on as well? Uh, let's see. I'm s I'm not over my force limits. Well, we are making money. But not enough money to put a level three guy in power. So let's just let's get that guy there. And we'll have to be happy with that. Improve our relations with Akoyun will again. And yeah, we have three vassals here. Persia, when can I annex you? Fifteen ninety three. That's three years. So let's get. Let's keep our uh, relations up. Just in case uh, you start disliking me, I need min minus 60 for my next vessel. Yeah, so let's see. Yeah, we have a Cassus Bella against the Ottoman, so let's uh, quickly take that territory as well. So, uh, let's pay that loan. care of the zealots. Uh, yeah, let's get that military guy in power. Still traders, great. And let's well, let's see about the Ottomans. 
They are a vassal of Nogai. Huh. Funny because uh, just the uh, a few years ago, Nogai was a junior in the uh, junior in a union under the Ottomans. The tables turn. That means I had to fight Nogai to get the Ottoman territory, and that sucks. I don't really want to fight Nogai. Not that I fear them. They are probably weak sauce. Uh, they have 32 force limits and 27,000 troops. But it's a bother. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, well, you know what? I'm going to end this episode here, and I'm going to read up on uh, the distant overseas what uh, what can be done uh, and we'll see if I'll have a an answer in the next episode uh, well, first let's take me a few seconds to admire our uh, creation here looks like a bird pretty disfigured bird uh, with this beak into Europe here uh, but it's our bird it has an eye it is girly uh, well thank you for watching uh, be sure to leave a comment saying cats are better than birds and uh, I will uh, see you in the next episode uh, given of course that you like and subscribe as well uh, so for now so long